The graphics in Ark Survival Evolved are about to get so much better. With the help of Unreal Engine 5.1, Ark's graphics are going to go from this to this. I must say, this is awesome. <laughs> If this actually happens, the game is going to go from here to there. It's it's almost like a completely different game. This isn't actually, this isn't from Ark, right? This is from someone else who's re-envisioned the game on the new engine. Look at the weather effects. This is like 10 times better than what, <laughs> what we currently have. Everything's just so crisp, clean, smooth. That's probably going to be one of the problems though. Will it actually be optimized? <laughs> is it actually going to be able to run on everyone's you know default computer the current game is pretty high intensive i'd say if you want to run a good graphics you're going to need a good graphics card and all that sort of stuff and i feel like <laughs> if it upgrades to this it's going to be significantly harder to play the game i think with the update there are going to be new optimizations and everything that make it actually <laughs> runnable hopefully uh, we are going to have to see but so far what we're seeing is incredible nighttime daytime anything the game looks amazing and it is confirmed to be in progress. The lead designer of ARK, Jeremy Stieglitz, uh, has tweeted that there is a free upgrade slash remaster of ARK Survival Evolved in Unreal Engine 5. It just hasn't been officially announced because they've got other big things that they want to show as well. So this is a sign that it's coming. We've also heard that ARK 2 is probably coming out sometime early this year in June, which is another great thing. I imagine it's also going to be on Unreal Engine 5.1. Seeing all these new imageries and videos really just proves how good this game really looks and how good it can look. The quality is top notch. It really is. They, Ark also needs to sort out its nighttime because it looks terrible. This is a good level of darkness for nighttime, I reckon. Everyone would like it more if Ark was this light at nighttime. This is what we want to see in Ark. Oh my gosh. Lion King. Picturesque. That's amazing. That's pretty much all the news I have for Ark 2. Some dinosaurs have been leaked, at least the design works for them. So here we have the Stegosaurus, which I think is pretty cool. Probably won't look exactly like this. It might look similar to the Ark 1 Stego, but we'll see. And they've also released this, which is very cool because they don't actually have a real one implemented into the first game. The Brachiosaurus. Looks like he's got um, spikes on him. I don't know. I suppose it's an interesting design. I don't know if he would be armored like that or what. I've never really seen the spikes. But uh, it's an interesting look. It definitely looks cool. And obviously the Stego has so many spikes and plates. That's how it should look. I think that's that's a perfect look for him, really. This is probably the last thing. Ark Survival of the Fittest is coming to console January 31st. So that is something to look out for, Xbox and PlayStation users. For me... <laughs> I'm going to stay on PC, I don't know how well it's going to run on the Xbox and the PlayStation, but once it's on there, that's going to be awesome, I, I think lots of people will download it, I reckon they should make it free to start with, just so it's like, like a Fortnite type thing, if they don't, then they don't, but if they do, and it runs well, then we've got another promising Battle Royale game on our hands, but we'll see, we'll see. Obviously, there's an ARK animated series coming up, a lot of people know about that, stay on the lookout for that, it's not out yet, but uh, it is on the way. <laughs> anyway, that just about does it for this little update, make sure you stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you later.